Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a spicy pizza production. I'm your host, Mitch Chill. We're back with some more Sepia Tears. When we left off, um, we are talking to Mira, and we're actually finally starting to pry up some sh uh, prying up her past. Uh, she, uh, in junior high, she was living in another country uh, up until high school, and then she moved back here. And uh, now we're moving on because it, she sounds like she's depressed. <clears throat> hey, I'm still human. Humans are allowed to be depressed. Then how do you explain jumping off the roof and vanishing into the snow? Well, maybe I'm just a special human. A human that can teleport isn't human. Ah, you shouldn't ruin a girl's dreams. Yep, she's definitely back to normal. Crazy Mira! Ah! You know, you're a lot more childish than I first thought. What? Would you rather I act like an elegant lady that lives in a mansion, drinks expensive tea every morning, and goes to a prestigious all-girls high school? <laughs> I should have just burped. I should have just let the burp out. It would have been. It would have fit the. It would have fit the sentence perfectly. That was a very specific example. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that as an insult. I just find it surprising. I think it's kind of nice that you act like this. It makes me feel like I can relate to you. You don't think you can relate to the refined type? Well, no, not really. And I don't think many of us can either. Maybe you're right. Hmm. Oh, see, she is from that class. She is from that elegant, fancy lady, posh, posh. Oh, Sir William Johnson, you are such a kid. Ma, 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 ma. Indubitably, sir. Indubitably. More tea and crumpet. You know, I feel bad making fun of rich people, but yeah, I kind of don't. I really just don't. I, I no, no, no. Well, oh, well. That's okay. I'm far from refined, as you can see. Okay. All right, so she's not. Fuck. Oh, I was about to punch her even harder. <laughs> Mira brushes her hair aside and her dark expression with it. This is who I really am, anyway. Just an eccentric kid who enjoys a quiet night of reading. If that's how you want to put it, then I'm just a weak-willed slacker who would skip school right before exams to talk to a girl he barely knows. <laughs> it's almost like we're in a game! What? <laughs> <coughs> oh, God! It's not a combination, but I think it works. And that's all that matters. Are we, like, hooking up during our lunch break? Is this, like, me in high school when it's, um... You know, now that I think about it, I really don't remember any of the... Or do I? No, I, I don't know. That's thinking. I don't want to think. Come on, let's go. The day is still young. She walks up ahead, and for once, I willingly follow. It's an odd combination, but I think it works. That phrase remained in my mind as the hours passed. I still remember Lillian's downcast eyes that studied the ripples in her mug of hot chocolate. But that memory is dueling with the strangely captivating performance that Mira is putting on. I can't explain it, but with Mira, it feels as if we've known each other for a really, really long time. But getting attached is dangerous. I check my watch. 2 p.m. School has long since started for the evening, so there's no chance of making it back. Congrats, Mira. You successfully made me skip class. Really? She pulls out an elegant pocket watch and checks the time. <laughs> what time does lunch end again? 1 p.m. Hmm. Well, if you want to head back, I guess it's all right. I know you're not exactly a top student, so I wouldn't want you failing on my account. Is she actually being... considerate? Well, I probably should head back. But then you'd be all alone, wouldn't you? I suppose I would. I dragged you out of school for a reason after all, so I'd like it if you stayed. <laughs> so you were just offering to be polite? I guess you could say that. Somehow, not surprised. 
It's fine. I think this was a worthy sacrifice anyway. I mean, sacrifices are important sometimes. That's true. It's like the concept of risk-taking, isn't it? Hmm? Think about it. No one likes feeling vulnerable, but in sacrificing the comfort of the status quo, you might get something more valuable than what you've had all before. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I suppose that's right. It is, isn't it? But to be honest, that's the kind of thing that only works in economic textbook, economics textbooks. It's like when you buy a patty, but you're too afraid to take the first bite in in case it's too hot. Yeah, I guess that's what it comes down to, isn't it? Humans are naturally afraid of burning their tongues. Yep, I know more about that than anyone else. Why do I get the feeling you mean that literally? Oh, you mean we weren't talking about food? Oh my god. Mira? I... I... <coughs> I'm gonna die. <coughs> you see what you're doing, Mira? You're ripping me from the inside out. <sighs> the city sure is a nice place in the winter, isn't it? Mira stretches out her arms and embraces the chilly wind. The sun is already sinking and her light hair is almost glowing. You're almost talking like you're new to the place. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I knew you'd say that. My hands are in my pockets, grudgingly hiding from the cold, but... I uncon unconsciously scratch the side of my face. It's always like this in the winter, though. Even if the snow piles up in the parking lots by February, winter is known to be our most beautiful season. I can see why. It's refreshing. She takes in a deep breath, and I feel compelled to do the same. Her cheeks turn red from the cold. That was when it hit me. <clears throat> You're not used to winter, are you? Mm -hmm. No. No, I, I guess I'm not. It doesn't even occur to me that I'm asking about her past. Well, to be honest, I spent the last few years of my life in a place with very mild winters. But I used to live here before, so it's not a major change. I guess you could say that it's nostalgic for me. If you don't mind me asking, why exactly did you leave the country? You don't have to answer, but... But it sounds like you really didn't want to go. I... I never had much of a life here. I was different as a child, too. I wasn't like you and your sister and your friends at school. I never had to worry about the problems that normal kids face. Like homework and friendship and romance. There was nothing tying me to this place, so... I left. But I guess that doesn't mean that I was happy to go. Are you happy now? <clears throat> Sorry, I said too much, didn't I? I didn't mean to make you worry, but I never get to talk about myself, so... But to answer your question... Yes, I'm happy now. I'm pretty sure. Then that's all that matters. Slowly, aimlessly, we move forward, footprints following us in the snow. There's something inescapably nostalgic about early winter sunsets. All those days when the sun sets before 6 o'clock, and it feels like late evening when you're coming home from school. It's a little bit wistful. How far do you live, by the way? Oh, you know, not too far, here and there. I should have expected an answer like that from you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Don't tell me we're back to square one after everything we've talked about. Well, I can't be too open, can I? That would ruin the surprise. I wonder what goes through this girl's mind. Obviously, unicorns, rainbows, lollipops, and fucking farting glitter. Obviously. <clears throat> anyway, there's one thing you forgot to calculate this time. Her expression freezes. At last, the weak point. <clears throat> Let me put on my manliest voice for this. It sounds like Lucas, though. This time... 
Mm. Are you going to finish the sentence or not? <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to see how long the suspense could last. I think you pushed it a bit too far. Oh? Sorry. Anyway, anyways, as I was trying to say, I was only asking you where you lived to make sure you could stay out this late. Oh? Uh... Wait. You're worried about me? Worried is the wrong word. I'm just concerned. That's the same thing. Regardless, you might live outside of the city for all I know. I wouldn't want you going home too late. It's getting dark, but it's still early. I'll be fine. Yeah, but... Well, you live close enough to get home by yourself, right? I do. Don't worry. Although... She just mumbled something. I hate when people do that. Me too! Even though I've been accused of doing it multiple times, and then when I try to speak up, they say that I'm yelling, and then I try to go back to a mumbling phase, and then they yell me for mumbling, and then they go back to me yelling, and nothing really happens. <gasps> okay, that was a lot of burst of energy right there. I had to get out. <clears throat> I said... You said... I said I wouldn't mind if you walked me home anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, home dog. Jiggy, 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 slice. Oh, um, well, but it's still early, isn't it? There's no need to think about going home yet. Don't get all serious now. You started it. Either she's doing this on purpose or she's just as nervous as me. What is this? Fuck, 51st dates? Are, are, we, are we even, we haven't even hit first base. Why are we getting nervous? Ain't nothing to be nervous about. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's just two friends going out, talking, catching up, getting to know each other, maybe seeing if there are feelings there. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, weird feelings. Kind of almost made me throw up there. But let's continue. My money's on the former. Come on, let's go. You walk too slowly. All right, all right, I'm coming. Come just as fast as my feet can carry me. How long have we been wandering the streets like this? I don't know, but we'll find out next time. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please like the video, favorite, subscribe, and share this with your friends, your family, your grandma, and your grandpa, because I know he loves watching this. I've been Mitch, and I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic day. You know, with Mira, it's like a back-and-forth fight. It's like, I want to strangle her. But then I just want to give her a peck on the cheek.